The importance and significance of Hebron to the state of Israel is underscored in a visit to Hebron by Prime Minister Yitzhak Shamir. At the yeshiva, he encourages the young men to be strong, be determined, and have faith in their cause. In speaking with soldiers and residents, his words reflect his concern for the future of Hebron. As in days of old, so today Hebron has become the symbol of the renewal of the Jewish people's national life in the land of Israel, and our right to live in every part of the land. May you go from strength to strength as Judaism's oldest city comes to life. Did you hear what okay. you said in the yeshiva? Be strong, every, we are all with you. מי שמדבר על חיים ביחד באותה ארץ של יהודים וערבים לא יכול לומר וזה לא הוגן לומר Whoever talks about coexistence in a country of Jews and Arabs can't say, and it's improper to say, and it's hypocrisy to say, that in the entire country you can live together, but in certain areas you can't. Why can an Arab live in Nazareth, Akko, Kamyal, and also in Tel Aviv, and Jews are forbidden to live amid the Arabs? And what, well, what I felt is that um, I want to do, I felt that I was capable for this challenge to be in a city where it's not exactly, you know, a simple thing to, to bring up a family and, and to, to, um, to exist on a daily basis. And um, what I felt is that if I was capable of doing so, then that, that was my job to, to do that. And what we're doing here is just, just, just um, leading our lives normally and um, bringing, bringing back the Jewish existence to, to a Jewish city. <laughs> And so life in Hebron moves forward. Despite politics, uncertainty, and tragedy, Jews are returning in ever greater numbers. Hebron is a living example of the collective memory. It is song and stories, tales told from generation to generation. It is the faces of its young, its settlers, determined to push back the past and challenge the future. It is history and heritage and hopes and the laughter of children and the sounds of prayer. It is the cave of the patriarchs and the dynasty of David in a short distance that spans a thousand years and both the beginnings of the Jewish people and its greatest kingdom. For these are powerful truths and all part of the fabric of the land and people of Israel. But for those who have returned, it is only a beginning and they are confident that they and their children after them shall indeed prosper and remain at play in the gardens of Abraham. Yeah, we'll be right back.